It's Thursday, September 17th, 2015. I'm Soren Baker, and this is DX Daily. Everyone's talking about Jesus' emergence. Well, this is a different Jesus. Slim Jesus, to be exact. Now, the Hamilton, Ohio rapper's Drill Time single has the internet a buzz, at least in part because Slim Jesus is a white guy who is indeed slim, but he's talking about some serious street stuff on his song, Drill Time. Now, here's what he told DJ Vlad about how the song's gritty subject matter matches up to his real life. For the most part on the street shit, like, I got homies that are in that shit, and I know people who are, and people around me. I mean, I haven't, like, I'm not out here catching bodies and shit, obviously. Like, I'm fucking smart, but, like, I mean, I know people, and I've been, you know, in some situations, but I'm not, like, out here fucking killing people. Do you have a criminal record at all? Nah, nah, I'm straight. So you've never been arrested? Nah, I've never been arrested, I'm straight. Even though he's got a clean rap sheet, Slim Jesus explains why he raps about life on the streets. That shit's dope. If I if I rapped about driving around in a fucking car and like fucking listening to country music, nobody would give a fuck about that shit. Like, I make music about some shit because it sounds cool. Like, I like making music. I make cool music. I don't like, I don't know. Like I already said, like I'm not out here claiming that I actually kill people. Like I put that shit on Twitter. Like, duh, I'm not fucking stupid. I just I make music that like. I want to listen to, the type of shit I listen to. Now what do you make of Slim Jesus' comments? Hit us up in the comments section. While Slim Jesus faces a wave of potential persecution, Iggy Azalea is a rapper who's endured blistering criticism. Iggy Azalea's mentor, Tip, shared his theory on why the Australian rapper was subject to such scorn. In her defense, she had a lot thrown at her at one time. Very Any fast. Any human being anywhere gonna have a hard time. It's very difficult to be the new kid and to be the butt of the jokes and to be just directed with all, like, you know, the direction of all the negativity. And, you the know, poster what I mean? child for, like, yeah. A lot of feelings. Theft. You're and right. Then, a and, lot and, of feelings. It just, it just, it, it, it came in a time where culturally in this nation, which she's not from here, right? You know, we were actually looking for a lot of, we were looking for a source for, for, for somewhere to place some pent Long up aggression. Time, you know what I'm saying? You're right. And they just kind of got it for no reason. In in some cases, some some stuff they brought upon themselves. But in some in some cases, you know what I'm saying, it just kind of was just right place, the, wrong the, time. Yeah, the easiest place to put some pent up aggression. So Tip says Iggy Azalea was an easy target. What do you guys think? Hit us up in the comment section. And let us know. Today's DX Day, we we're joined by the illustrious King Chip. Thanks for coming through, man. Gotta get your water on, man. Now, is, that, is that water courtesy of Black Jesus? This water is courtesy of Black Jesus. Black Shout Sling out Jesus. Slink, man. How you Shout doing out to Slink Jesus, man. This water will become uh, coconut rum. It will. Yeah. That's impressive. Yeah, That's impressive. man. What's also impressive is the Cleveland Fournier album yeah. you got coming up, King Shit. So, so tell us about this project, Cleveland Fournier. How'd you come up with that concept? Um, Cleveland Fournier is really, uh, it's an album about, about a chapter in my life where you know, I move, I kind of relocate from where I'm from. Like the book, it's like the book of Eli. Ah, okay. Like with the soundtrack to the book of Eli was supposed to be. But you're not blind, right? <laughs> no, I ain't blind. Okay, nah. just sure. Not right now. That would have been a crazy twist. Maybe after, after Jesus hit me off with this, uh, with this yak, this rum. <laughs> might that be water. Water. <laughs> That special water water. Yeah. All right. Nah, but I mean, you know, it's just about a chapter of my life, you know, and compare and contrast, you know, life you know, from where I've spent my whole life to life where I never lived before, you know what I mean? So, and it's just like that story. You also have a very interesting new single that you got here coming from Cleveland, California. What oh, yes, it? sir. What is it and break it down, man? Oh, uh, man, I just wanted to, um, I, want, I, wanted to, I wanted to hit everybody, you know, just with, with, this, with this new fleet of jams I got coming, man. The first one is, is it's called Brand New Hoes, man. And it's really just like a, it's like a relief you know what I mean? It's like a social relief for, for everybody, especially when you see the video. But, um, you know what I mean? It's about, it's really just about having surplus. You know what I mean? And uh, I just use uh, hoes as an example because it's so eyebrow raising. You know what I right, mean? Right, right. It's, it's so new and innovative. <laughs> you know what I mean? I figured nobody had never rapped about brand new hoes before, so I give it a shot. <laughs> and what, what is the ultimate message of the song? So people don't confuse it. I mean, it's just really about, you know, dope raps and I'm, I'm, I'm being, I'm sick of having surplus. I'm just sick of having too much. 
Right. Where I don't appreciate it and I want more, and then I get more and I don't appreciate that, and then I want more. It's like a never ending story, like Lamb Chops Play Along. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's just the song that never ends. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, <clears throat> it's, it's like, I, I think it's like, I think it's true, it's like when men, it's like, you know, it's con we conquerors, even people, you know, not just men, you know what I mean, people, that's why when you see the video, it's going to be so dope. And when's you know the video I mean? drop? Video's going to drop, uh, um, <clears throat> we don't have a set day, but I'm aiming for the week of the 20 something. Okay. September? Yep. Okay, cool. The week, the week of 20-something. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great week. <laughs> Appreciate you coming through Hip Hop DX. That's DX Daily for today. And always, for more music and news, check out hiphopdx.com.